A trip to Mandela National Stadium Nambole late on Tuesday evening has revealed to us another development, which is the completion of the running track. This is part of the works in the first phase of the stadium's construction by Uganda People's Defense Forces Engineers Brigade that has ensured both the inside running track and the outside stadium are well equipped with only lighting on the outside pitch to be finalized in a few days. As you have seen, we have completed the remaining works, which was putting the the curtain. Even the marking of lines has been done. We are now ready to say, come and receive your structure, which you consider that is calling the client. Uh, what we have done lastly is uh, cleaning up and. Now transferring knowledge to people who will carry out maintenance. In fact, as you came today, most of them have gone away, but they have been undergoing training by the experts we got so that they know how to maintain the touching truck and then how to maintain the grass. So basically the work which was pending was marking the 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 tatan or the running truck, which has been done today. And yeah. And up to date now, it is complete. What is remaining is the handover. So phase one works ends with that. The development has been well received by Uganda Athletics Federation, which appreciates the work done and is optimistic that with many international engagements lined up, its athletes will benefit from the state-of-the-art facility. Today, I have seen beautiful pictures of the finished Nambole Stadium. And my focus is sincerely the Tatan. I've seen the Tatan truck already marked very well. Seeing these pictures is so exciting for me as president of Uganda Athletics Federation. And every member of the Athletics Fraternity is so excited about this. Because the season just ended has been very tough for us at the Uganda Athletics Federation. We had to spend a lot of money to take our athletes to Nairobi, to take our athletes to Europe, to take our athletes elsewhere to give them opportunity to qualify for the various games, including the Olympic Games. This was not very easy for us. And if Nambole was operational, I know our sprinters who are the most affected. The athletes like uh, Adoli Harold, Shida Leni, and the middle distance athletes like Achiru Knight should have made it to the Paris Olympic Games. Mandela National Stadium Nambole is Uganda's highlight stadium ahead of hosting of the 2027 Africa Cup of Nations and has several other phases to undergo that the Uganda People's Defense Forces Engineers Brigade can achieve if trusted. Uh, in phase two, we ex there are many other works because basically the first phase was for making the, the, the stadium operational, which we have done. Now the other nitty gritty, the details of the, the, say the gymnasium, that is the, where they do gym, gym area. We have to do some details, put rubber, air, all those other specific equipment and then fencing off the other external track because the funds were not enough and for not enough scope, they, they, they we expect maybe also to take on, because we have given our scope to take on the swimming pool. Then uh, another thing we expected to do is it, basically AFCOM expanding on the, the stadium to, so that it accommodates over 45,000 people who can visibly see and sit comfortably. So there will be AFCOM project in phase two and Chan uh, in phase two works. But with the 2027 Africa Cup of Nations still far off, the stadium will in the interim host several 2025 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers next month, with Uganda playing South Sudan and Kenya likely to host Cameroon at the same venue.